better day to celebrate collaboration, and it's the best day ever to celebrate global solidarity. Today I want to welcome a special guest who is with us, Francois de Gaulle, Senior International Development Officer, Inclusive Growth, Governance and Innovation in the Partnerships for Development Innovation Branch of Global Affairs Canada. announcement that Global Affairs Canada will collaborate with Kairos and our wonderful global partners to implement a five-year project, Women of Courage. Women's Program in Colombia, the West Bank, in South Sudan, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and the Philippines. And in this five-year agreement, Global Affairs Canada makes a $4.5 million contribution, committing Kairos to raising $1.3 million for the match. As you know, for some of us, this has felt like a very long time coming. Some might even say eight years. <laughs> And what our global partners have demonstrated is creative resilience and profound solidarity. The OFP and WEAM, ECU Voice, the South Sudan Council of Churches Women's Program, and Hérité de la Justice, with very little resources, have transformed women's lives. And in their different contexts that are common in the presence of sustained conflict, they have seen women not as victims, but as human rights advocates, not as recipients of charity, but as potential leaders in the establishment of peace with justice in those countries. And it is these programs of psychosocial support, of human rights training, of support to women's participation in peace processes that will receive these additional funds up to a level of 100,000 a year. Wow. Ours has been a journey of mutual solidarity. Just as much as we have supported global partners with funds and advocacy, they have supported us, giving us clarity and strength of vision to stay the course for bold social change. And this solidarity is woven into this project. As well, these five women-led movements will engage with one another and with the networks and movements of Kairos to strengthen analysis, to build capacity, and to develop courageous best practices. So today we really want to express our deepest thanks to our partners for journeying with us, the members and the networks that have supported us, the partnership staff working with partner colleagues who have developed this dynamic project. And finally, Global Affairs for their support of grassroots women's-led program and for their commitment to gender equality and human rights and for their collaboration with Kairos. We have long awaited this day. So I'm now gonna turn it over to Francois to say a few words and then we'll get a glimpse of our wonderful partners. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. It is my great pleasure to be here today on behalf of Global Affairs Canada to participate with you in the launch of this exciting new project, Women of Courage, Women, Peace, and Security. As you know, um, Canada places gender equality and women's and girls' empowerment at the heart of its international assistance. Canada's feminist international assistance policy recognizes that supporting gender equality and the empowerment of women and girls is the best way to build a more peaceful, inclusive, and prosperous world. Yet, as you also know, in many regions around the world today, conflict 
and its consequences impede sustainable development and erode peace, security, and the protection of the rights of women and girls. At the same time, we know that when women are involved, peace and post-conflict processes are more inclusive, equi more equitable, more sustainable, and more effective for everyone. Canada's National Action Plan on Women, Peace, and Security, renewed in November 2017, demonstrates Canada's continued commitment to ensuring that women are active agents in the development of sustainable interventions in conflict and post-conflict states. In this context, Global Affairs Canada is pleased to support Kairos in its uh, new Women of Courage, Women, Peace and Security initiative. And I know in a way it's a much enhanced, I guess. You, you've had a program uh, already, but uh, we are pleased to permit a major enhancement uh, in, within this new project. So this uh, new Women of Courage, Women, Peace and Security initiative is to be implemented in, as Jennifer mentioned, in Colombia, in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, in the Philippines, in South Sudan, and in the West Bank. Global Affairs Canada will provide funding of 4.5 million over five years. That's also uh, an interesting period. It's important to provide some stability, um, and, uh, which will support the work of five grassroots women-focused organization um, who are expected to reach more than 35,000 women and men, mainly women, um, and including 9,500 survivors of gender-based violence. The five local partners who will partner, yeah, I'm from Partnership Branch, right? <laughs> <laughs> we, we like to repeat the word partner. But, um, and, and, and the focus is correctly, and it's nice, we're gonna get the message the focus is correctly put on the partners, because they do an amazing work. So the five local partners who will partner with Kairos to implement this important project, each have a long history in their respective countries and territory. Their expertise and grassroots connections will ensure that the Women of Courage initiative benefits those women and girls most in need enabling them to heal from the effects of war and to become peace builders and defenders of human rights. Kairos has partnered with each of these women-focused organizations for many years. And uh, as you mentioned, it's been a mutual uh, supportive uh, uh, effort and experience um, uh, for many years. And Kairos's expertise in women, peace, and security, and grassroots level intervention positions them as a strong Canadian partner for this work. So in dealing with the important challenges to peace building, reconstruction, and development in the countries and territories of intervention, the combined experience and expertise of Kairos and its local partners represents a major asset. So, once again, congratulations. We look forward to our continuing partnership for this important Women of Courage, Women, Peace, and Security initiative. Thank you. guests that we could also bring would be 
our partners uh, so that they could be with you. But we're going to try to do the next best thing uh, and uh, offer you some of our partnered voices who have sent them along to be part of this time. And then you'll actually have an opportunity to uh, interact with the partners in a different way this afternoon by visiting uh, and learning about each of these programs. And so we're ready to go, I think, with uh, video so that we can hear uh, the partners' voices firsthand. And it's starting with Bernie from the Philippines. We are emboldened by a partnership that is not self-serving but on the basis of empowering women and communities to make human rights work for them and which will benefit all. The project's relevance and urgency is demanded all the more as the country's human rights defenders face violent attacks from the state security forces. This partnership will definitely strengthen the capacity of women human rights defenders and militarized communities. This will not only be monumental for communities of hum women human rights defenders in the Philippines, but for the Canadian government as well that provided financial support to this project. Let us stand together. Our best wishes for the successful launch of the Women Peace and Security Initiative. I feel like let this name Women of Courage not only be within uh, Kairos Canada, but we need uh, also other NGOs to learn from what Kairos Canada do to women. Kairos Canada is actually encouraging us women, and I'm one of the women that felt like I'm, I become uh, courageous because of that name, Women of Courage, because I've seen some photos of the women and what Kairos Canada do with the women. You know, it's like Kairos Canada is really accompanying the women to become courageous. Soy Yolanda Becerra Vega, la Organización Femenina Popular, eh, una organización defensora de los derechos humanos en Barranca Bermeja, Magdalena Medio, Colombia. Eh, y nos, para nosotros el proyecto que ha sido aprobado y que en este momento está empezando su ejecución es muy importante porque es mantener la esperanza, fortalecernos para la construcción de la paz desde los territorios, eh, sanando las todas las grietas de la muerte que han quedado en nuestro territorio, pero también todas las heridas que tenemos en nuestros cuerpos, las mujeres, por eh, razón del conflicto armado. Gracias por el apoyo, gracias por creer en nosotras, gracias por caminar con nosotras, porque no solo el acompañamiento económico, sino también político y humano que hace posible que la vida florezca en medio de estos contextos que tenemos en Colombia. El financiamiento del proyecto Fampe y Seguridad va a permitir a las belles héritiers de la justicia de améliorar su capacidad de intervención sur terreno por la educación, la formación, la sensibilización de las mujeres para que esas mujeres puedan acceder a las instancias de prise de decisión y también que esas mujeres puedan participar a las acciones de consolidación de la paz. Aussi, para los beneficiarios, el le proyecto permitirá a los beneficiarios de vencer la peur en denunciando los diferentes casos de violencia sexual y otras violencias basadas sobre el char, donde la femme es víctima. Ceci mettra fin a la cultura de la impunidad que avili la femme congolaise aujourd'hui. My name is Lucy Telji and I'm the project coordinator for the Women, Peace and Security project. And I'm Tark al -Zubi, the project manager. We are so excited to begin our work on this project, through which we will help empower women, especially those who are suffering and having suffered from domestic abuse, through providing trauma healing and coping, mediation and training, economic empowerment through job creation and legal aid. Through this, we hope to inject women with hope and begin the transformation process from a life characterized by marginalization to one by choice, freedom, dignity, and empowerment. Thanks a lot for your generous grant.
I can say for all of us that is, it is to these courageous women and to their male allies and to the communities that they work with that we pledge our hearts and our hands and our labor in a common bond that we uh, imagine this possibility of transforming the world together. So we are so delighted to uh, take another step forward in this walk. And we promise them not only our financial support, uh, but our continued relationship, and perhaps as important, our strong voice speaking out on issues that affect them, but also speaking out in our own country. Uh, we will uh, stay the course in our advocacy because that's who we are. So thank you. Uh, thank you for this moment together. Uh, we wanted to share this with you. And we're so delighted that we were able to do that.